Jesus says, thy brother shall rise again. But notice what Martha thinks Jesus is talking about. Martha says unto him in verse 24, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. But isn't that interesting? So here Martha thinks that Jesus is talking about the resurrection of the body at the last day. But Jesus is talking when he says, thy brother shall rise again. Jesus is talking about, hey, I'm about to walk over to the uh, burial cave that you have him in and raise up his physical body. In other words, I'm going to bring healing to his body. I'm going to raise him from the dead. But Martha was thinking, oh, in the sweet by and by, um, Jesus is going to resurrect uh, her brother like he's going to resurrect everybody. Resurrection of the just and the resurrection of the unjust. Um, at the last day, you know, so that's interesting. So Jesus, what he's about to tell her is that he is the resurrection and the life, that he is this overall life. And wherever it finds you, it's going to bring life to you to the degree it can. Remember at this point, um, Jesus has not died and rose again. So Mary, Martha, Lazarus, they were still spiritually dead. Jesus could not resurrect their spirits yet. Um, so, so of course, and he couldn't resurrect their bodies yet because they have to get born again first and then all these things have to happen and then Jesus has to come back. So he can't resurrect their bodies yet, even though that's all in the will of God for them. But yet Jesus has not died and rose again yet, so he can't do that. But what can Jesus do? He can raise Lazarus' physical body. He can heal people's bodies. So in other words, that part of salvation, Jesus could do right there. He could meet them where he could as a subset underneath the overall plan of God, which is to save you in your spirit and give you a glorified body and give you a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem. We live with God forever. That's complete salvation. But until that can play out, that very same promise, that very same promise of life is going to meet you today where it can, which in Lazarus' case was the healing of his body. So you see how this is all one? This is why I say all the promises God made to Abraham were really through Abraham to Jesus, and Jesus dotted every I, crossed every T, died for us, and then rose again from the dead. So when God raised Jesus, gave him life in his spirit, glorified his body, set him at his own right hand. That was absolutely complete salvation. And every other promise made to man is a subset underneath that overall uh, fulfillment of that promise. 